Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, uh, do all the sort of behind the scenes stuff uh, to make this uh, work. First thing that I've done there already, and I need you guys to do as well, is rename these elements that are going to be used within the uh, sort of programming. So um, this input here, I've named it num input one. This one I've named num, num input two. The button I've named add button and this label is the result label and the calculate button I've renamed calc button all right so use the same wording conventions if you want to change it it doesn't matter just make sure it's something that you're going to remember and it's is relevant okay because these are the things that we're going to be using in the code which we're going to do now so in order to access the behind the scenes stuff we're going to go over here to blocks um, now yes uh, this is a drag and drop system um, it isn't writing code from scratch. Uh, it does make it more accessible, um, less of a learning curve and all that kind of stuff without being fluent in a uh, programming language like Java, um, which is a good starting point. But it does use the standard things like variables and you know, um, things that you would have in programming languages. So let's have a look at how this works. What we're going to do is what we well the first thing we're going to do is make this button so when you click it it cycles between a plus minus you know, times divide whatever so we need to it's going to be this add button that we're affecting so we click it you've got all the options and things that you can do that relate to that button all right and what we want to do is find you know when it's clicked it wants to do something so that's this top one here drag it in uh, when the add button is clicked do stuff that we're going to tell it to do. All right, so um, what I want to put in here is kind of an if statement. So if we go into control, we've got different things that we can use. Uh, we want one with an else uh, on there as well. Uh, so it will loop around. So if um, it needs to be a math thing here. So if something is equal to something, all right, that's what this is. So if the text in that button, so if it's our add button, uh, add button text, put that there. If the add button text is equal to, what is it now, a plus? So we've just, just something, some text that we want to put in. We can go to text, put in an empty one, change it to plus. All right, so when the add button's clicked, if the add button text is a plus, then what do we want to happen? We want to change it to a minus. So let's go to add button again. You see you've got some more options for set. So set uh, the add button, again, the text we want to change. So there, set add button text. Uh, I'm not sure let me drop it in. No. There we go. There's a little cross there at the moment, that's fine. That will go away when it um, something's in there that's going to make it work. So we're going to change it to a minus. So again, get text, another blank one of these, change it to a minus. All right. Um, so else, so if it's anything else other than uh, a minus, then we want it to change back to a plus again. So um, what we can do probably is just copy, we can control C and control V. So copy things when it's easier. So we'll set it back to a plus again. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm not gonna tell you how to do absolutely everything just step by step, because then you're just copying and you're not learning as well. So, um, what we actually want this to do is cycle between plus, minus, times, and divide. Okay, S using what the way that works, you should, should be able to work out how to make it cycle between four different ones rather than just two. But mine, my demo one is just going to do two. Okay, so in our designer, that's when we push this button, it's going to change to plus or minus or whatever we need to do, dependent on what calculation we want to do. Okay. Now we just make, make this make this calculate button give us an answer. So, <clears throat> the, you know, the action is when um, the calculator button is pushed. So again, let's find, um, where's our calculator button? There it is. So when it's clicked, 
something else is going to happen. Um, I need control. I don't need an else this time. I just need a standard if statement. So what we want, <coughs> if I'm actually going to copy that whole section up there. So if the add button text is a plus, then we want it to um, the calculation to be a plus, don't we? So we want to set the result label, because that's where the answer is going to be, to change the text. Yeah, so set, sometimes it doesn't plug in properly. There we go. Set the result label text to, it's going to be a, it's going to have to be a, this thing called a join because it's joining what's already there with the answer because remember we've got equals there in this text already so we want to yeah add that add the answer to that uh, my internet's just went down let's hope that it, it doesn't end <laughs> right so join that's fine so we're going to join what's there already which is equals there we go and then we're going to join that with, we're going to do some maths, and it's going to be a plus. Okay. And that's going to be whatever is in this input. So we just need to get the text. Where's text gone? That one. So get that text and add on the text of this one. Input two text. Okay, and that should give the answer for when you're adding. So we just want to do another similar thing um, for when it's minusing. So we need another control and put that underneath there. And copy and paste this. Drop that there. Change that to minus. So if it's a minus, what's going to happen? Let's copy that whole thing it's going to change the result label text to something else and it's going to join on equals again but it's actually going to not be a plus so we can delete that delete those we want the math this time to be a minus and then we can just copy and paste these off again and plug those in hopefully that kind of makes sense pretty straightforward and then obviously you if you've got your times and divide after that, then you would drop more of these in and do the same for those. Okay, but mine's just got the two as a demo. So let's just recap on this. So when the add button is clicked, um, if the if the add button text is equal to plus, then it will set it to a minus instead. Um, if it's anything but a plus, it will go back to plus. So you're going to need to modify that slightly if you want to cycle between plus, minus, times, and divide. Then we've got when the calculator button is clicked. Um, if it, it, the add button is a plus, then it's going to set the results label text to equals, and then there's your calculation. So it's a simple adding two things together. The two things it's adding is our two inputs, the text of the two inputs. You can see that. Okay, and then if the add button text is a minus, then the result is going to join a equals to uh, that value uh, minus that value. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, put all yours together, let's go back to the designer again, and then do the AI companion thing to make sure it is all working correctly. And then you'll be ready to move on. All right.